So God wants us to be happy. Now, does God want us to be happy at all costs? Well, no. I, I, I mean, uh, not, not happiness at the expense of holiness. But, of course, if we understand properly the relationship between happiness and holiness, we'll realize that it won't be at the expense of holiness because true happiness is found in God, not in sin. When we sin, when we violate God's holiness, is exactly the time when we destine ourselves to become unhappy. So yes, there's temporary unhappiness that's possible apart from God, but long-term, deep, and meaningful happiness uh, is only to be found in Christ. Is God concerned about our happiness or our holiness? In a word, the answer is yes. He's actually concerned about both. We should not pit those two against each other. The truly happy person is the person who is in love with God, finding pleasure in God, delighting himself or herself in the Lord, as Scripture tells us to do. That's a, that's a happy person, and that's also a holy person. So the holy person ultimately is the happy person, and the happy person is the holy person. We make the mistake of dividing those two and pitting them against each other. And the way this works out, I think, is very sad for some children growing up in Christian homes, growing up in churches, where they, they get the message that if they're going to find holiness, you'd find that in the church. But if you're going to find happiness, you've got to go outside, you know, to the world, where the world offers this and that, and that's what's really going to fulfill you. Popular culture, um, all of these kinds of things are what is really going to make you happy, and sin's going to make you happy. That is Satan's biggest lie. It was his lie from the beginning to, to Eve and to Adam, is do this thing that God says not to do, and that's what will make you happy. Whereas you're not going to be happy remaining as you are, never mind that they were happy, never mind that they lost their happiness when sin came. So we need to be careful that we, we blend and merge and see as in perfect harmony holiness and happiness because God's word clearly shows us that's the case and life experience shows the same.